This is my favorite video light ever made. I've used a pair of these to capture every single shot that I've captured over the last five years, both for my personal films and for my corporate professional work. And I've had a pair of these for over about two and a half to 3,000 dives, and they are just absolute weapons. And today, I'm excited because Orca Torch have just released a brand new version two of the exact same light with all the same features, but with some improved usability bonuses. This is the Orca Torch D950 version two, and it is a 10 and a half thousand lumen underwater video light, most impressively with a CRI of over 92, which essentially means the quality of light underwater is exceptionally good and among the best on the market. For any of you guys who followed my channel for a while now, you'll know that when it comes to video lights, there are four main things that I believe are most important. The first is the color rendition index, and this, as discussed, is just a measurement of the quality of light. The second is the lumen count, and that the light is bright enough. The third is battery life, and the fourth, as with everything underwater, is the price. And I thought the D950V version 1 had a fantastic mix of all of these things. Being a somewhat affordable light, it had one of the highest CRI counts available on the market, and it had a 10,500 lumen beam with a battery that would last between 3 to 4 dives. And the version 2 has all of the same features and comes in at the same price. The improvements this light has made over the last one is essentially the usability features while you're underwater, allowing you to capture those moments quicker and activate the light much faster when you see wildlife. What they've done is instead of the really cumbersome ring that you have to turn on the last light, they've made a nice simple latch that turns super, super easy underwater, as well as an on and off button on the back. We've been using this in addition to our version one lights over the last week, filming a natural history documentary on the life cycle of sea turtles. And I can say without a doubt, that the small improvements these guys have made to how you turn this light on has been such an asset underwater in being able to turn these on super fast to capture your shot. In addition to the quality of life improvements underwater and being able to activate this light super quickly whenever you see something, it's also got a magnetic charging ring on the back which makes the end of the day so much better, being able to basically just dry it off and plug it into charge without having to deal with any O-rings which at the end of the day, when you have to reset all of this kit and countless other lights, having one less thing to do just saves so much time and lets you get to bed so much earlier, which is a massive benefit if you're up every day at 4 a.m. trying to catch sunrise wildlife. While the version two isn't really a necessary improvement as the version one was such a good light and I have used it, like I said, on over 3000 dives and on every single project that I've run commercially and personally over the last five years, the small benefits they make to ease of use and just quality of life and being able to activate it quickly and charge it magnetically overnight are super, super nice. Anyways, we're about to jump in for some last light. See you underwater. 